Hi guys! So as promised, I'm going to talk about my favorite books today. Sensya na kayo parang wala ako talaga sa mood kasi hindi pa ako okay talaga. Hindi ako nakakain, ako nakakatulog ng maayos. But I try to film a video each day kahit ano lang para feeling ko kausap pa pa rin mga friends ko, ganyan, or meron pa rin akong ginagawa ni look forward to every day. So, I have a, an earlier video showing you my entire bookshelf, but this time I chose just nine books to talk about. Di ko sure kung gano'ng kahaba tong vlog na to, pero <laughs> kung may tiyaga kayong panood until the end, then let's begin. So, first, I have here... Baliktad yung itsura niya, di ba? Kasi naka front camera ako eh. But anyway, this is Sophie Kinsella's Remember Me. I don't know how many times I've read this. I like this better. I like this of all her books. So, I've completed the Shopaholic series. Tapos yung mga iba pa niyang books. Uh, favorite ko to tsaka yung 20's Girl. This is about a girl na very, very telesere yung story nito na aksidente siya and then nagka-amnesia siya. Pero yung amnesia niya parang uh, hindi lang niya ma-remember yung past two years na nangyari sa life niya. Hindi niya alam na nagka-asawa na siya. Um, tumaas na siya sa position niya sa work. Parang all her dreams came true pala in two years. Pero hindi niya maalala how she got there. And then parang ang realization niya is lahat pala nung gusto niya hindi naman siya happy. Like, meron siyang mayaman and guwapo na asawa, and then, mataas yung position niya sa company, pero wala siyang friends, galit sa kanyang mga friends siya, etc. Uh, yung medyo off lang dito, kasi nagkaroon siya ng affair, pero, kayo na lang mag-judge, kasi medyo, ano, justified talaga. <laughs> kasi yung husband niya dito, hindi siya mahal. But anyway, you be the judge. So, this is called Remember Me. My second favorite book, by the way, this is not in order, ha? Random lang. So, more or less equal yung, ano ko dito, yung love ko sa mga books na to. Ito, super, super daming times ko na nabasa. I can't count how many times I've read this book. The first time I got a copy of this book, um, I think college ako. Siguro first year college. And then, sa so booksil yata nabili. Tapos, over the years, sobra kakaulit-ulit kung basahin na wasak-wasak na siya. I bought another copy, pero kahit itong copy na to, pangalawa na to ha, medyo rundown na rin, no? Buti nga lately, hindi ko na masyadong nababasa, kaya medyo intact pa siya. Obviously, doctors, it's about doctors, it follows a group of med students mula childhood actually, until they became doctors. And, if you don't know, that was my first dream to become a doctor or, or a scientist, kung doctor, psychiatrist, believe it or not. So, love na love po tong book na to kasi I was able to live vicariously through the characters because I wanted so badly to go to med school, but hindi na to pad, we couldn't afford it. So, of all the books about doctors that I've read, ito yung pinaka-realistic kasi realistic both yung mga medical procedures, etc. But also, they're being human. And Eric Siegel is a good author. He's also the one who wrote Love Story. Yung classic na movie na, a classic na book which was made into a movie, I think, in the 1970s, na favorite ng mom ko. So, Doctors by Eric Siegel. This one, my mom bought it in book sale a really long time ago. If I'm not mistaken, high school ako. High school pa lang ako, I think I was a junior or, or a senior in high school. I already wanted to go to med school. This one naman is the story of a woman surgeon. During the time na konti pa lang yung nagsisurgeon na female. And obviously she experienced discrimination, etc. Biography to guys, by the way. So this, this person is a real life doctor. And because this is a really old book, I think 1980s, uh, when I looked her up, oh my gosh, 1980, this was published in 1980, and I think my mom bought this in 1987 or 1988, uh, when I looked her up a few years ago, Lola na siya, <laughs> but she's still practicing, and she ended up being a plastic surgeon, a cosmetic surgeon. Um, ganda rin nito, I, I don't know if you can still buy it, kasi sobrang luma na, but if you want me to lend my copy, 
after this quarantine, I can lend it to you. This one is an accidental buy, but it was probably divine providence. Kasi, may binila ko na book sa Shopee, and then, parang yung amount kasi alanganin, and then this book costs only 10 pesos. So, parang dinagdag ko lang siya, para lang eksakto yung babayaran ko na sa seller. I didn't even know what it was about, but it's entitled, Searching for and Maintaining Peace. A Small Treatise on Peace of Heart by Father Jacques Philip. Um, sobrang simple nung book pero sobrang nakaka-calm down. Yun nga lang kasi ngayon guys, sobrang taas ng level of anxiety ko. Kaya yung mga usual na nakakapagpakalma sa akin, ngayon hindi kaya. Dati kasi pag anxious ako or if I'm having a panic attack, kaya na na madistract by reading a favorite book, watching a movie, or talking to a friend, the usual. Um, pero ngayon, kasi nga, alam nyo naman, we are in a very um, uncertain situation, kaya ang hirap talaga pababain yung levels of anxiety ko, but I'm trying every day, so thank you for being there for me. So anyway, this talks about how to live a happy, peaceful life based on only one premise, that God is in control of everything and that we're not in control of anything at all. And that if we leave everything to God, we will feel much more peaceful and we will deal with things much more easily. I, I, I don't know how to explain it, but if you can buy this book, please do. Feeling ko meron pa to sa mga Shopee or sa book sale. I highly recommend this. Dati nga dinadala ko pa to sa bus, so, kasi ang nipis lang ulit. Nung time na napapanik atak pa ako sa bus, kapag na, nasustak ako sa traffic, I would read this. I think dito sa book sa show, show, show ko sa inyo ngayon, ito lang yung spiritual book. After ng spiritual book, ito naman, medyo kakaiba tayo. Also the only Tagalog book that I'm going to show you today. Shout out to my good friend, Chad Marcelino, a.k.a. Leona, who is the author of this book. In 2015, I was going through something difficult. Uh, I had a falling out with a good friend. So I was feeling bad for, medyo matagal din bago ako nakarecover. And then one day, na, napa, napa, silip ako sa Wattpad, of all places. Yun din yata kasi yung time na nagkocollect ako ng Wattpad books, yung hard copies, kasi nga cute yung cover. But I came across the soft copy of this book in Wattpad. It's entitled, Baking Gangster. Umpisa pa lang, tawang-tawa na ako. Talagang, laugh out loud. And remember, I was going through something difficult during that time, so it couldn't have been easy to make me laugh. So, sobrang natuwa ako dun sa book. Minessage ko yung author through Wattpad. And surprisingly, nagreply siya. That was five years ago. Until now, we're friends. Um, one day, I'll make a, a, a vlog or ano ba, a video na kwento on the most unusual friendships I have in my life. But anyway, ayoko i-spoiler to. Pero di ba, di ba kayo na-intriga? Baking gangster. Like, baking gangster. So... In case medyo, ano kayo, skeptical kayo on reading Tagalog novels or mga ganitong parang LGBT, guys, ang ganda nito. Pinakiyaw ko yung kopya nito sa National Bookstore nung marami pang copy. Awan ko ngayon kung meron pa. And I gave it to many of my friends because it made me so happy. So, Chad, I still love your book. I miss you. See you soon. This one, uh, okay. Ang storya nito... A long time ago, in Bethlehem, a long time ago, dito marapit sa subdivision namin, merong maliit na mall, RFC people would know, Las Minas people would know, the mall is called RFC. Meron doon paarkilahan ng pocketbook. Ewan ko ba, mahilig talaga ako sa books kasi ever since ako yung una nakakapuno ng library card, mahilig ako tumabay sa National Bookstore, Book Sale, Bookmark, etc. Um, two and a half years old pa lang ako when I started to learn, when I, when, when I learned to read, I was only two and a half, and my dad would buy me books sa Ali Mars, o oh, ba? Ali Mars, very 80s, hindi nyo alam yan, mga fetus. 
ano yun, nagsisale ang Alimars noon, 1 peso lang per book. Tapos si Papa bibila na ako mga 10 to 15 books pag payday. Kaya ang aga ko talaga natutong magbasa, tapos ang aga rin lumabo ng mata ko. Yun nga lang. Anyway, back to the paarkilahan ng book. Nagpaparent ng mga, mga young adult books. Saka mga ibang novels din yung book na yun. Parang love pocket books yung pangalan. Kaya ako bigla, pero... I rented this, and then I loved it. Ang ganda ng story, ah. Parang best friend turn lovers, eme. Pero, funny, the usual. Sa so, sobrang gusto ko ng book, I wanted to buy it from the shop that rented out books. Pero, ayaw nung may-ari. Hindi daw for sale. Tapos, one day, nahanap po yata sa eBay or sa OLX. Basta, sa isa sa mga, ano, uh, online stores or, or Pinoy... Basta, sulit.com, ganun. Tapos, minit ko pa yung seller sa SM South Mall for this book. She sold it to me for, I think, 60 pesos lang. Tapos, talagang happy ako na nahanap po. Kasi yung favorite ko to, especially during summer. Obviously, ang title niya, Summer Love. Oh. Okay? So, I don't know if you can still find this. Next is another Sophie Kinsella book. Aside from yung kanina, which I showed you yung uh, Remember Me. This is another one of her works that I love, Twenties Girl. Twenties Girl, kasi yung bida dito is in her twenties. Her name is Lara. And, um, the ghost of her great-grandmother who was, who lived in the twenties, uh, showed up in her life for a mission. Sobrang ganda, guys. Like, this is probably Kinsella's best. Hindi ako makadecide kung ito o yung Remember Me eh. Pero, if push comes to shove, siguro ito pa rin. Kasi mas unique yung premise. Kasi yun may amnesia eh. Sabagay ito, may ghost. Ewan ko. Pero yun, these are two of Kinsella's best works, if you were to ask me. Yung Undomesticated Goddess, okay then. Pero, this one, over that. And then this one, Baby Proof, as I said in my earlier vlog, um, Emily Giffin. Contin ay, hindi to continuation. She has something borrowed, something blue, and then this one, and then love the one you're with, but this is my favorite. Kasi this talks about a couple where the husband wanted a kid, wanted children already, tas ayaw nung girl. Like, ayaw niya magkaroon ng anak. So, ewan ko bakit, I think napag-usapan na nila prior to their getting married that they won't be having kids, but the guy changed his mind. Eh, yung girl, okay na siya na sila lang mag-asawa. There was a time na ganun din ako. Hindi naman sa ayoko ng kids, but I was completely, I was perfectly contented na kami lang ni Mr. G. Pero hindi naman yung sing ano niya, sing extreme niya, na talagang ayaw niya talaga. Ako naman nun, parang if we have a, if we have a kid, be good. If not, okay lang din. So, read this book if you're about to get married, newly married, or thinking of having a child, or thinking of not having a child at all. Maganda siya. Okay? And then last, so di ko alam po bakit 9 books yung napili. Kung di ko pa ginawang 10 eh, no? But this is the last. Another book sale find. Um, this is by Alison Pearson. The title is, I don't know how she does it. Ito ang author nito, and ang, se ang setting is in, U in the UK, which normally, hindi ako mahilig. Pero yung Sophie Kinsella, UK yung ano nung setting. So, so kasi yung US yung setting, feeling ko mas nakaka-relate ako dun sa vocabulary, dun sa mga brands na binabanggit, sa mga personalities, etc. But anyway, this one, eto hindi ko na rin mabilang kung gano'ng kadaming beses ko nang binasa to. It's about a mom. Uh, we two kids, a husband, tapos working mom kasi siya, and then yung struggles ng pag-juggle ng career and motherhood and being a wife. Na, it might sound common, pero the way it's written is very, very relatable. Na nakakatawa siya and nakakaiyak at the same time. Pero hindi yung iyak na tearjerker, yung iyak na parang nakakatag siya sa heartstrings. Sobrang, sobrang relatable ng character. Kahit na wala ka sa UK, kahit hindi ka, hindi ka English speaking, <laughs> makaka-relate ka sa book na to. So, actually, I found this book in book sale and then, I think my first copy is nasira na. I think second copy ko na to. Sometimes I do that. Whenever I have a favorite book and then I find another copy, specifically in book sale, kasi usually they have multiple copies of the same book. Bumibili ulit ako ng copy so that I'm sure that I still have it in my collection. So, that's it guys. These are the books that I love. 
And, uh, medyo konti na lang ngayon kasi wala na actually akong time magbasa. <laughs> Minsan pa silip-silip na lang. Tsaka alam nyo naman, may smartphone na kasi tayo ngayon. Kaya usually doon na tayo preoccupied. But it's nice to... I thought it would be nice to share with you what my favorite books are. So feel free to share your own also para mapanood ko rin naman yung inyong favorite books. So till next video, bye!